Welcome to Media Farm, health information with a personal touch. I'm Dr. Dean Elb. Like old candy bar wrappers, anti-obesity treatments lie discarded on the side of the therapeutic road due to serious side effect issues. Is the newest treatment for obesity really worth raving about? Stay tuned to find out. Fen-phen and redux caused heart valve problems, while Meridia increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Acomplia, Cunexa, and Larquest never even saw the light of day in the U.S. and Canada due to serious side effects. The fat blocker Zenical or Ali is available and works for some, but gastrointestinal side effects are off-putting for many users. With side effects limiting usefulness, researchers looked at using a combination of medications that have already been on the market for over 20 years. Recent research shows that faulty reward circuits in the brain and an inability to resist food cravings are to blame in some cases of obesity. It's not surprising, then, that the two drugs in this new product were previously used in addiction medicine. The drugs are bupropion, marketed as Wellbutrin and Zyban, for treatment of depression and tobacco addiction, respectively, and naltrexone, marketed as Revia for the treatment of alcohol and narcotic dependence. They're together in a new product called Contrave, which just cleared a major hurdle on the way to FDA approval. Results were just released from a year-long manufacturer-funded trial. Over 1,700 participants got either a placebo or one of two different dosages of Contrave. All participants were asked to follow a calorie-reduced diet and received exercise and lifestyle counseling. Fully half of the participants quit the trial early. Those assigned to active treatment lost an average of 8 to 10 pounds more than in the placebo group over the course of a year, but this is quite a bit different than the average 17-pound weight loss being reported for study completers in the highest dosage group. Side effects were mild to moderate with nausea, dizziness, and insomnia most common early in treatment, along with a slight rise in blood pressure. Since blood pressure should drop when you lose weight, this is concerning, but no major effects on the heart or psychiatric symptoms were reported in the trial. There were some big limitations. People with heart disease or diabetes weren't allowed into the trial, and by far the biggest group in the study was obese 40-something white women, so it may not represent everyone who may potentially use this medication. Contrave may offer some hope, but it's not for everyone. Those with seizure disorders, certain psychiatric conditions, or who take narcotic pain relievers regularly won't be able to use this medication. In the same way you may not buy a new car in its first year of production, or go for a body waxing during the first week after a new spa opens, a cautious approach is likely best given the previous track record of anti-obesity medications. This has been Dr. Dean Elb wishing you well from Media Farm. Health information with a personal touch.